takes it. It's a good one. Brilliant save. A lot of people in sort of the news are saying that I've, I've set my sights on England as number one and, and stuff. And of course, that's the end, that's the end goal. But Sam and Jordan at the moment, uh, over the past two camps, and have played the game. So first of all, I've got to get myself a cap whenever that comes. And then it's all about playing well with Arsenal. So. I think the England stuff comes along with playing well for your team, but if it does happen, it's going to be very hard because Jordan's been phenomenal with, with England. And, um, I thought he was one of, if not our best player in the summer, so um, I think it's going to be really difficult. Well, that was the Arsenal keeper, Aaron Ramsdale, who's on uh, Darren Bent's boot room last night, live on the show. And I've just tweaked, something in my head has just uh, clicked there. You may have heard it. <laughs> In the middle of all that, he's talking about um, Pickford and Johnston. But he says, Sam and Jordan. When I was listening to it live yesterday, I thought he said Simon Jordan. I, I thought, did. What, I what's thought Simon Jordan that. got to do with it? Why is he suddenly yeah. just out of nowhere thrown Simon Jordan's name into the interview? And it baffled me all evening. Same there. I've just thought exactly <laughs> the same thing. And now I've just realised what he was saying. Oh, dear. Anyway, I'm having a bad day. Uh, Aaron Ramsdale's save. Uh, the way, did you see Cundy's tweet about Aaron Ramsdale's save? <laughs> it, was nothing, it wasn't all that. It just it was the camera, wasn't it? Brilliant. Great camera angle. I Come mean, on, you it used was to love them at it? school. You must have played in goal where you just loved, you know you can get there, <laughs> full stretch, and it looks spectacular. But it, but it was a good save, yeah, of course. I mean, that's what goalkeepers live for, them, those sort of moments, don't they? Where they can get just, they know they can get there, and it's going to look ridiculous if someone takes a photo at the right time. Oh, come on. Well, it is. It was hey, a good on, save. It not, was a brilliant he's not, he's save. Not even thinking I'm not about criticising that, the save, <laughs> but you've all been there, haven't you, when you've been in the, in the goals and you've pulled off one right in the corner and just, oh. To be fair, I haven't, but... Well, yeah, but <laughs> most we people have. will have who's played in the course they have. <laughs> Anybody who's played in the net, nets, whether it be for fun up or at any level... And they've pulled off a nice save like that. But hang on, do you, do you million then, dollars after. Yeah, okay. But he he wasn't doing it for the cameras, was he? He's of doing it to keep not. the ball out of the net. No, no, he's not thinking when the shot, well, if I get to this, it's going to look great on a photo. But as soon as he'd done it, he thought, that'll look good on a photo. Yeah. Full stretch. And by the way, it did look very oh, good on a photo. It looked ridiculous. Very good. So, uh, listen, he, uh, you know, on this show, I, I have always backed Aaron Ramsdale. There were quite a few people. And to be fair, a lot of them are admitting it. Danny Murphy admitted it this morning. He just uh, came out and said, look, I was wrong about Aaron Ramsdale. He is the real deal. I love his mentality. He's, he's seen a kid in the crowd who's wearing a, a keeper top. You know, keeper replica jerseys aren't big sellers, yeah. are they? For an, an obvious reasons. But there's a keeper with his, uh, a kid with his dad got a keeper's shirt on he goes over and gives him his match worn shirt at the he end of the Leno game he had on the back though <laughs> that's why he's giving him a Ramsdale one but he's um, I, I think when he did the uh, he joined in with the Leicester fans who were giving him stick as well that was terrific but he's just a very good goalkeeper with very good yeah. distribution and uh, what I love about I don't think Gareth Southgate is the kind who's just going to say uh, well he's playing better so I'll stick him in goal Jordan he's Pick definitely going to do that. Jordan Pickford is his man, and he's not let uh, Gareth Southgate down. So there's no real reason for Gareth Southgate to change. But what we do have is some genuine competition now, don't we? Yep, not just there. I think in um, we look at positions, you look at the right back, look at James, what he's doing now, but Walker will still be the first choice right back. We see Mings, he'll still be, um, if Maguire's not fit, Mings will still be that player that comes in in that position, even though he got dropped by Villa. At the weekend, we know at the left back, Chilwell's playing better than Shaw at the minute, but I guarantee but Shaw will be playing left back the next England game. You know what I mean? So we could talk all we want. Ramsdale's done brilliant. I said he uh, when he went there, when he he didn't go there as number two. He went mm. there to be to be number one. Yeah. You don't sign a goalkeeper for that sort of money to be number two. He went straight into the well, it didn't take it took him what, two or three games to get put him straight in and he's looked the real deal since he got in there. Yeah, proper keeper. Are Arsenal the real deal very quickly? I think they look all right, I mean. Do they? Got a lot of, yeah, I think they've got good young players um, and they've got a bit more character about them now. They, they're getting rid of those senior players that cause problems that Tottenham have got at this moment in time. So Arsenal, um, Tottenham are where Arsenal were at 12 months ago, if you ask me. Yeah, I can see that. And that was a difficult job getting rid of those players. Yep. By the way, one of the, uh, one of the guys who works here, big Leicester fan, isn't he? He was at the game at the weekend. And after the second one went in, I messaged him saying, you need Maguire back. He didn't reply. <laughs> Not grateful at all for that message. How about a Leicester at the back sometimes? Terrible. Uh, but Aaron Ramsdale, how good could he be England's number one before the World Cup next year? That's, that's in a year. It's, just, it's in November next year, the World Cup. Unbelievable. Incredible. Man. This is TalkSport.